Oh, cupcakes. <laughs> All right, very best friends. Daddy. No daddy. Very best best. Very best friends. Um, what's that? Best. Which thing? Right. That. The tree, the poo, the valentine, yeah. Christopher Robin. Yeah. That's what those are. One day. What's that? Well, let's just read it. Which was one of those days that was sort of between winter and spring, oh. and which happened to be right in the middle of February. Pooh went looking for his very, very best friend, Christopher Robin. Pooh called as he climbed the hill where the two friends often met. And it's not really. How odd, Pooh said to himself. It's not really. He said to himself when Christopher Robin didn't. He has to be careful because answer. there's a leg. It doesn't look like he's going over there. He's always here, except, of course, when he isn't, which must mean that he is elsewhere. And even though elsewhere could mean just about anywhere, Pooh tried Piglet's house first. Have you seen Christopher Robin, Pooh asked Piglet. No, I haven't, said Piglet, trying very hard to hide a large red heart behind his back. But when that didn't work, he gave up and showed the card to Pooh. I've been busy making this Valentine's card for you, he said. Tomorrow... Is Valentine's Day. You mean Valentine's falls on tomorrow this year? exclaimed Pooh. Why, perhaps that's what Christopher Robin is up to. He must be off somewhere making Valentine's for all of us. Now Pooh wanted even more to find Christopher Robin, so he and Piglet went in search of him. They tramped through the Hundred Acre Wood until they found their friends peeking through some bushes at the boy. Christopher Robin was so busy writing something that he didn't notice his friends spying on him. At first, everyone thought he was writing the name Winnie the Pooh. W-E-R red. I, Gopher, continued. N, added Rabbit. Where's but then, Gopher? Where do you think Gopher is? Be like oh, yeah. he's by the root. By that's by right. Big root. Very good. Where's the root? Big well, that's where root. It's pretty big. It's Where's almost as big root? as Christopher Robin was. All right, um, but then Christopher Robin began to read out loud. Dear Winifred, he said. Winifred, the friends exclaimed, horrified. What precisely is a Winifred exactly? Asked Pooh. <laughs> Nobody knew the answer to this, so they decided to go ask Owl. I'll climb up that old door. Oh, hello. Ladder. Very nice. A Winifred, my dear friends, is a girl, Owl explained. Christopher Robin has become interested in a girl. Does that mean he is no longer interested in us? Pooh asked sadly. Oh, I think he's just suffering from a bout of lovesickness, Owl assured Pooh. The fellow's been bitten by a love bug. Oh, d -d -d dear, whatever shall we do? asked Piglet. I got it, I got it, Tigger cried. We gotta go and get another love buggy to unbite him. That will cure him. Tigger explained that to catch a love bug, they needed bait. For this, they chose Piglet. Let's hear it. Hmm? Let's, hear Let's read about it. He dressed Piglet up. He's actually dressed up, kind of like a, a, a sort of like an Irish costume for um, St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so he dressed Piglet up, gave him some flowers, and stood him flowers. on top of a small hill. Well, flowers. Actually, it's more maybe it's just more of an English English dress. If, that's, if those are not shamrocks. Isn't that hill actually an anthill, Pooh asked? Mmm, Tigger replied, and the flowers are actually poison ivy. <laughs> oh, did it, did it, cried that's, Piglet, that's tossing his new hat and the I flowers aside. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He sure What, Sandra? Wrote, I think it's at, um, um, Grumble. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're, we think there may be some poison ivy there. Just then, Pooh oh, looked down at the honey pot. There's city ivy, too. There's city ivy, I guess. City ivy. Just then, Pooh looked down at the honey pot he brought along. Oh, bother, he said. Okay, hold on. Why is it red like a fire? I'm sorry because it's a fire. Okay, move out of the way, please. But. Okay. Do you want to keep reading this? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. I do. Okay. Uh, 
just then Pooh looked down at the honeypot he'd brought along. Oh, bother, he said. Somebody or something has found my honey. The friends looked closely at the lip of the pot. You don't suppose it's a... Tigger began. Love bug, the others cried happily. But suddenly the love bug flew off. Oh, no, Pooh cried. It's going, it's going, it's gone, Tigger said. The friends watched the bug zip into the forest. We must find it, said Pooh, or Christopher Robin will never be the same. So Pooh and his friends went in search of the love bug. They took a glass jar, a butterfly net, and all sorts of other bug-catching things. And then, soon the friends found themselves deep in the forest. Night was falling, and it was getting dark. Suddenly Pooh spied the bug and dashed off to, after it. No, Pooh, Rabbit cried, wait, don't run off. But Pooh didn't hear. He disappeared into the darkness, and as the others hurried after him, they all became separated from one another. Pooh finally got close to the love bug and caught it in his jar. 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 I have it, Pooh cried. Now Christopher Robin will be quite all right. Look, everyone. Pooh turned around. Piglet, he said nervously. Rabbit, Tigger, Gopher, Eeyore, anyone? He paused. Oh, bother and he, he said when he realized that he was all alone in the forest and lost pooh looked at the love bug if only christopher robin were here to show me the way he said sadly suddenly the love bug began to glow its light was shining brighter and brighter oh my pooh cried he opened the jar to get a closer look the love bug flew up to pooh's face and gently blinked okay hold on a second then the friendly bug sailed into the air, zipping this way and that, dazzling Pooh with the bright, swirling arcs of light. The magical, glowing bug led the way through the woods, and Pooh happily followed. When they reached a clearing, the love bug flew off to find Pooh's friends. One by one, Tigger, Piglet, and the others followed the bug's light straight to the same spot. As the friends happily greeted one another, the love bug flew back into Pooh's jar. Then off they all went toward home. Soon afterward, Christopher Robin found them. I've been looking everywhere, he cried. Where have you all been? Rabbit nudged Pooh. Go on, Rabbit whispered. Let the love bug unbite the boy. Be but, but before Pooh could open the jar, Christopher Robin said, Pooh, there's something I want to show you. Feeling quite shy, Christopher Robin showed Pooh the card addressed to Winifred. I made this for a friend, a new friend. What do you think of it? Pooh peered at the card. It's very nice indeed, he said. Pooh was quiet for a moment. Then, to his friend's amazement, he opened the jar and set the love bug free. Piglet hurried to Pooh's side. Why did you let it go, he cried. Because, said Pooh, Christopher Robin is happy as he is. And no matter what happens, I wouldn't want it any other way. And so, Pooh and his friends headed home so that, sad that Christopher Robin had found a new friend and didn't seem to need them anymore. But they were as wrong as wrong could be. For when they arrived at home, each one found a big, beautiful valentine waiting. Christopher uh, Robin. Uh, they should not get close to because they like to go. They do go. have to watch out and not to get too close to that edge. Christopher Robin had not forgotten his fr old friends at all. The next morning, carrying his valentine, Pooh again hurried to the hilltop, hoping to find Christopher Robin. And there he was, waiting for Pooh. This card is from you, Pooh said to him. Is it really for me? It really is, his friend replied. But we thought you had found a new friend, Pooh said. Christopher Robin knelt beside Pooh. Oh, Pooh, he said, just because I have a new friend, it doesn't mean I care any less for you. That's what I thought all along, said Pooh, smiling. Still, it's nice to hear it said. And so the two friends, the very best of friends, joined hands and went off to enjoy the lovely day. Now let's do another one.